Hey, hi, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Cassie and today we are going to make air fryer pretzel bites with almond flour instead of regular flour just because, you know, honestly, we should, we're just, we're trying it out. I'm not gluten free. So the almond flour has calcium, iron, potassium, vitamin E, riboflavin, copper, and manganese. Whereas the all-purpose flour has iron, riboflavin, thiamine. So there's a little bit more like nutrients to the almond flour. Anyways, so we are gonna make these also in the air fryer, which you know, your girl loves an air fryer. It's only one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. So let's hope it's simple. This is my first time making it, so we'll see. I don't know, we'll see. I'm also making some trade-outs. I didn't have regular sugar. So I googled if I could use brown sugar instead, and it says I can, so I'm going to use brown sugar instead of regular sugar, because your girl's not a baker. I don't have sugar in my house like that. I know, shocking. Not even for coffee or anything. Yep. I just opened the almond flour, and like, look at this consistency. It's like intriguing. The consistency is intriguing. Okay, we're going to start out taking one cup of water and two and a fourth teaspoon of yeast. One pack of these, it says down here, is two and a fourth teaspoons. So we're just gonna use the whole pack. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump that sucker in there. And then it says to let it cover for five minutes. So it's been five minutes, so we're gonna uncover. All right, so next up, we are gonna add two and a half cups of flour a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of brown sugar. And it doesn't say what to mix with. All right, we look pretty mixed. And now I have never done this before. Because mine does not look like hers. It just falls apart. Like it's not staying together. So we just deep dove here I am with my cabinet, it's toxic trait here, into why this isn't doughing. And I'm going to try to add an egg, I think, because all of the almond flour recipes also had eggs. We're, we're gonna try that, we're gonna add an egg. I'm gonna beat the eggs and then add them into this mix and see what happens. we're just gonna see what happens it says to put it in a bowl and let it rise for 30 minutes we got two minutes to go and I took a peek and this thing it doesn't look any different like what did I do wrong I don't know but this is what it looks like it doesn't look any different. It looks like a pile of goop. So I'm just gonna run with it and we're just gonna put it in the air fryer and we're gonna see what happens. The next step is to like make it into balls and put it in the air fryer. So it says 400 for five minutes. I don't know, we're gonna see what happens and if this sucks, I'm just gonna make it with regular flour. I'm gonna use one of these things. Okay, so I have not peeked. You guys are gonna get to the first look with me. They do smell like pretzels, so we're gonna see what they look like. They look like biscuits. It looks like a little biscuit, not a pretzel. I mean, that side doesn't look bad. Maybe I should have flipped them halfway through. Let's see, we're gonna open them up and see what happens. They don't look bad. I'm nervous though. Why am I so nervous to eat this? The texture is disgusting. I think we're gonna try to cook it a little longer and flip it halfway in between this next batch and we'll see what happens. I will update you because right now this is a like, don't ever try this recipe. That was disgusting. The next batch just finished. I have not looked 
yet again I added two minutes and forgot to flip it because I was like making TikToks so we're just gonna see what happened this time so let's let's go take a peek I'm nervous they are way more brown but they still look like little biscuits it was stuck to the air fryer this time so that sucks so it broke open it still looks the same and i'm not gonna lie they don't look unappetizing now last time i didn't put anything on top so i'm gonna like sprinkle a little salt on top but i don't know i like plain pretzels normally I'm gonna take the outer edge portion because this looks the safest no that is gross all right i'm taking the inside this is seriously a zero out of ten we're gonna try making air fryer pretzel bites with flour and see if, if we can save that. Also, I'll probably buy sugar before I do that. I didn't realize, I looked at the recipe and it did not click that you needed sugar for this recipe. Like it didn't click. So, and I'm very sad it didn't turn out good because I was looking forward to snacking on some pretzels. You live and you learn, you know? If we learned anything from this video, Cassie is not a baker. Cassie sucks at following directions, which is why I'm not a baker. I feel like cooking dinners, I can like eyeball, throw shit in there, and it turns out good. Baking, it's a whole nother world. A whole nother world. We're not going to give up though. We are going to find a good air fryer pretzel bite recipe because I love soft pretzels and I want to make them at home. Thank you for coming along this train wreck of a recipe with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video or click that subscribe button so you never miss another train wreck of a video with me and i'm looking forward to seeing you all next time